Tandoori chicken is popular all around the world and the secret behind a sumptuous tandoori chicken come from its marinade. And so this time I'm going to use that lovely marinade with an exotic fish. Hello guys, I'm Aprath and I'm cooking some classic recipe just for you. And today on the list is a very exotic recipe of tandoori salmon. So let's start with our recipe. First, I'm going to make the lovely marinade. So in a bowl, I'm going to add some hung yogurt. Next, I'm going to add in some red chilli powder. So here I'm using Degi red chilli powder, which will give us color also and heat too. Next, I'm going to add some ginger garlic paste. As I said, the secret is behind this lovely marinade. Some seasoning salt some garam masala powder now the garam masala powder has to be freshly ground so that it gives nice aroma and taste and then I'm going to add dried fenugreek leaf powder which is kasuri methi powder this gives a very nice flavor to the marinade as well as earthy flavors with this some mustard oil I'm going to add juice of half lemon And now let's mix all this together nicely. And there you see our lovely marinade is ready. Some people do add color to this, but you don't need to add any color as if you're using a nice quality of Degi mesh powder. You don't need to add any color. And now I'm going to take this salmon and cut this into half. Salmon is a very rich fish, which is mostly grilled and served with herbed butter in most of the restaurants. So I'm going to cut the fillet into half so that we get nice small pieces. And now let's add this lovely fish into our marinade and coat this from both the sides. So now once the fish is nicely coated, I'm going to set this in the refrigerator for around two hours to marinate. It's been two hours, our fish is getting marinated in the refrigerator. So let's take it out. Now, as you can see, it has absorbed all the lovely flavors from the marinade. And now I'm going to do a magic. I'm going to smoke this with a coal. As you can see, I've kept a coal on heat. And now let's quickly transfer the fish onto a plate. As you can see, I've left some space in the center. This is where we are going to place our coal. So I'm going to place a steel bowl and now the coal is also nice and hot. I'm going to put this into the steel bowl. Quickly I'm going to add some cloves and then I'm going to drizzle some ghee on top and once the smoke starts to come, I'm going to cover this and let the fish infuse with the lovely flavors. Basically when you use the technique of tandoor, you put the chicken or meat into a skewer and put it into the hot coal and then it gets cooked and it gets that lovely flavor of charcoal. Today as I'm grilling the fish, I'm giving the charcoal flavor to it before. And now after two minutes, I'm going to open this and you can see still the smoke is there. And now you can see the fish is nicely infused with the charcoal flavor. And now is the time to grill our fish. So I'm going to heat up a grill pan and then to that I'm going to add a little oil and some butter. The reason why we add a combination of oil and butter is so that we don't want the butter to burn. And now I'm going to gently place the fish over the grill pan. And now I'm going to slightly tilt the pan and baste the fish with the butter. Fish doesn't take much time to cook. So two to three minutes on both the sides. You can also cook this in a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for around seven to eight minutes. You can see it has got lovely grill marks and it is looking like it is out from a tandoor. And now our fish is perfectly cooked from both the sides. I'm going to quickly take this out 
on a plate. So now the fish is ready, it's time to plate. Over here I have a lovely mint mayo chutney. While making the mint chutney, I have also added some tarragon into it, which will give a nice distinct flavor. And now, on the plate, I'm going to add a spoonful of the chutney on one side. And then I'm going to brush this. And now I'm going to place some lettuce. And then very gently, I'm going to lift the fish and place it right here. And now some cress on top. Finally, a slice of lemon wedge. And now I'm going to put some onion ring on the sides. And now finally, I'm going to sprinkle some red chili powder. So there you go. Our gorgeous looking tandoori salmon is ready. You must have eaten a lot of grilled salmon before, but after watching this video, you should definitely try this and I assure you that you're going to be amazed with the taste and flavor.